What's up guys, it's Boy Boy here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. So some of you guys already knew that I am about to enter Stripe the 8 KVK very soon. Uh, when that happens, I will be able to buy and craft one of the legendary accessories. Because I'll be able to buy one of the blueprint from the shops. Um, so, I have spent a lot of time thinking of what I should be getting for the past few days. And I am currently torn between the concealed dagger and the horn of fury so like, i can't really decide on which item i should be getting right like i think i think the concealed dagger can work very well when it comes to swarming because it's provide uh, like a debuff there uh 30 percent chance to reduce the target health by five percent stack up to three times uh which each stack lasts for three seconds right 30 percent chance is pretty high uh, on the other hand, we got uh, Horn of Fury, a normal attack have a 30% chance to gain extra 50 rage as well. So that is um, a very very good way to uh, bring up your, your rage engine there for your commanders. So that is like almost like having an additional unit of arc buff for one march is there if you go to craft uh, Horn of Fury. So like I, I think it, it kind of work well with my Guan Yu uh, as I love using him. Uh, at least that's what I thought, right? So like, I was set out to do some testing before I decide on which accessory I should be crafting. Uh, the concealed dagger, the concealed dagger debuff is pretty. I think it's pretty straightforward. I would say, uh, but uh, for the horn of fury, for the horn of fury, it's a little difficult to test the effectiveness of it. Uh, the biggest question is does rage bonus stack well together or there are some sort of like diminishing return when you have a too much rage. Uh, so I set out to do some testing uh, to find out. So what did I do? Uh, so show you guys here my testing here. Uh, over here. Okay, so on this side. I have uh, no rage bonus here. So this one I am using Grand Yu and Alex uh, with zero rage bonus here on this side, on the first one. Uh, on this one, I have a 15% rage bonus. So on this one, I am using Grand Yu and Leo. Uh, Leo have a 15% rage bonus increase from his second skill. Uh, and on the last one here, I have a 15% rage bonus plus Joan of Arc buff. So I have a Grand Yu and Leo, uh, and I have a Constantine and Joan of Arc on the side providing that additional buff there. Uh, kind of a very, very similar with, uh, I would say very, very similar with having that um, Horn of Fury. Uh, because Joan of Arc gives you a 50 rage bonus for every second, for 4 seconds when she casted her active skill. So pretty, I would say pretty close to what the Horn of Fury can provide. Uh, I mean, like, the test would be best to, to, to be done if I have the Horn of Fury, but I do not have it. Uh, but I am trying to find out if I should be crafting it or not. And this is probably the best possible way for me doing it right here for like a free-to-play account, right? Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and see the testing here uh, and see. Mm. So here... Um, let's see here. Uh, first, I want you guys to take a closer look at... I want you guys to com compare. I want you guys to compare the one with no rage bonus and the one with 15% rage bonus here. To see if there's like a huge difference in the two, right? Um, so let's go back here. Pretty. Uh, like the one with the 15% rage bonus from Leo, you can cast the skill pretty fast, right? Uh, so like, around 30 seconds, I would say. Around 30 seconds, I was able to gain an additional, like, about an additional skill at around 30 seconds into the fire here. Uh, so which, which is pretty good, like, every, every 30 seconds, I get an additional skill for that 15% rage bonus, which kind of makes sense. So that was good, right? Uh, that was pretty solid, pretty good. Uh, but now I want you to go back. 
Uh, now I want you guys to pay close attention to here. So I, now I want you guys to pay close attention to this one and this one. So now we have a, in the middle we have a Grand Yu and Leo with the 15% rage bonus. And on the other side, on the right side, uh, we have a Grand Yu Leo. And we also have a Constantine and Joan of Arc providing that buff. So very, very similar to um, what that Horn of Fury can provide. Uh, actually a lot more to be honest. Uh, the Horn of Fury you have a 30% chance to gain 50 rage. Uh, and I would say you can get like about 150 rage every 10 seconds if you get lucky. Uh, on the other hand, right, uh, Joan of Arc you can get uh, 200 rage every 10 seconds. I would say at least. So that is, I think the, uh, the Constantine and Joan of Arc can provide more rage compared to the Horn of Fury. Uh, so let's pay a closer look on the two matches here. So pretty even on the first skill casted. And uh, now, uh, you can see right here that uh, my Joan of Arc, my Joan of Arc is about to cast the skill here. And now I should be able to get that 200 rage, I mean 50 rage every second for the next 4 seconds. There's the Joan of Arc buff. But, um, like, you don't see, like, a huge, huge jump in terms of rage that uh, my Grand Yu is gaining, right? Pretty even still, right? Even with, even with my, even with my Joan of Arc casting the buff few times already, like, here I am at, like, 3 bar, right? 3 bar here for the rage. Same thing on this side, also 3 bar. Um, and like, I would say like 200 rage, additional rage is about, I would say about 20%. So that is like, that's like a 20% rage increase right there. Uh, and I'm not seeing like a huge, huge difference. So let's take another look here from the beginning. Uh, so you guys can take a much better comparison here. Um, between the three. Like, there, there is definitely a huge, huge difference between the one with no rage bonus with the one with like 15% rage bonus. But when you compare like the 15% rage bonus with uh, additional like 200 rage for every 10 seconds, you, you don't see like a big, big difference, guys. And that made me wonder, is it still worth it to get the Horn of Fury? And... I feel like there is definitely definitely some like diminishing return when you stack way too much rage it's there. And I think at some point, I think when you add too much rage, at some point, they're not effective anymore, I would say. Uh it, it, it feel like it feel like so my original plan is to um So like my original plan is to invest into like one accessory that can can work well in a lot of situations. And for me, like I like to use a lot of marches to fight on the open field. And Joan of Arc, Joan of Arc is one of the commanders that I bring all the time, so that she can pro provide the buff for pretty much everybody. So like I already have that rage engine already with my Joan of Arc, right? Uh, showing you guys the skill again here with my Joan of Arc. Uh, every every second for the next four seconds, she can all the marches gain fifty additional rage per second right there. And the Grand Yu that I use for testing, uh, I am using talent, I'm using uh, infantry talent tree. So I do not have that uh, feral nature there, so you, so there is no like RNG into the, oh, he might be able to gain additional rage right there. So just show you guys what I use for testing. But yeah, like, let's go back into the shop again. Um, so like, original, like, I, I want, like, as a free-to-play, like, or super low spender player, like I want to invest into like one accessory that can serve me very very well, and can provide benefit in a lot of situation, and like I was thinking of like getting the Horn of Fury because I love to use it on my Grand Yu, and I was thinking of using it for for Grand Yu and Leo, and possibly I could use it for rallying some uh, structure in KVK, but like from the test things that I've done. Like the the additional rage bonus that I am getting doesn't doesn't make like a huge huge impact, especially when I am using a commander that already have a like a, a some sort of a rage engine already, or if 
if there are, if there are like if there is like Joan of Arc on the side providing buff in 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 case of like using five marches for fighting on the open field, I am already I am already getting that rage bonus already. So like I feel like the Horn of Fury is is not worth it. The Horn of Fury is not worth it in my opinion. Uh, like my original my original plan, like I was gonna get it, but because I didn't did, I didn't do the test. But now after the test that I've done, like I I honestly don't think the Horn of Fury is worth it, and I am more leaning to it on crafting the concealed dagger right now because the concealed dagger can work very well for swarming. And for open field fighting as well, if you're using five marches and you can target on one single, on on one single march, um, you can swarm it down easily, easier. I would I wouldn't say easily, but easier. It can also provide a debuff for everybody in your lands as well if they are swarming on the same target. Um, I think the concealed dagger is definitely better. Like definitely what, uh, the materials for me to in to craft it. Rather than the Horn of Fury. I think for me to use the Horn of Fury, I had to use it on the commanders that... On a, a commander pairing that do not uh, have a, like some sort of a rage engine. Uh, and I think that is when you can get that major advantages there. Uh, maybe some commanders that do not have a, a skill talent tree. I would say. Maybe someone using like an attack talent tree or something. Um, but like... I just don't feel like I just don't feel like Horn of Fury is the best uh, item for for like a low spender or free to play player to invest in anymore. Um, I think I think it 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 doesn't work well in a lot of situations, especially I think for open field. I think for open field, if if you always bring your Joan of Arc, I don't think the Horn of Fury is gonna help a lot. So that is. That is what my conclusion after spending a lot of time thinking uh, thinking about the two items and did some testing right there. Uh, so let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comment section, guys. Thanks for watching the video.